Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it, I hate my job. Aw, oh, Dad, why? I've mined. I've made glass. I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and have an, and enough time to and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house. Try at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory. At least for a while. But here? I got something for you. Got it out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. A what? Do you know what this tooth is? No. Really? You sure? Yeah, Granddad must have had it from the old days. May, thank you. Wow. Looks bright and new. Like they pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. May. Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May. Yeah? You come down and pick it with us if we walk out? I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting an early start on our longest night plans. Gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help put them up? We'll see. You're a small fry. Dad. dum da dum dum <laughs> So he gets the tooth in the end. I was wondering when that was gonna come up again, because that just that just sort of showed up. Like we got sort of we got some like a, some uh some context for what it was at one point from via the articles, but not a whole lot else. So are we supposed to think all those people are genuinely dead down there and that's it? Like goodbye forever, everyone? Because I mean that's probably the best case scenario, but it's so convenient that I just I'm worried one of them's gonna get out. That would suck. Come on down, there you are. Hey, rabies. I bet your life is exciting. Playing with your friends. I mean, you're a champ. You gotta be popular. Eating garbage and common pests. I feel like I'm just glad the world includes you, dude. All right, I got Jet. See you later, rabies. Stay cool, stay alive. Hopping around despite all of our weaknesses. Remember that one time we almost got shot? At least there's that. At least we apparently didn't get shot, I guess. Wonder if we'll ever be a big booming town again. Those guys last night were like, deluded. But it'd be really nice if there was a god. I might ask. But I think they'd have to fight over the gods, or fight the other gods that bled this place nearly to death. I'm like, proud of us all. For having good ass lives in a shitty, stupid, good ass town. Aw, oh, May. Here's to you, Possum Springs. Here's to survival. Aw, oh, May. So I wonder who's still gonna be around, because some people look like they're all getting ready to leave. Some characters are definitely gone. I was briefly worried that maybe the homeless guy got sacrificed because of this whole. The, they talk about it going after vagrants, and uh, the homeless guy disappeared. And I. Uh, and. It suggested that maybe he she maybe he went off and just killed himself or something to not be anyone else's burden, because maybe the I don't know. 
Did he ever talk about his kids? Did he say his kids were like... I don't... It, like, that'd be really a... That'd be a real tell if he ever said his kids were dead or something, and then he's like, I'm gonna be with my kids. Like, that'd be... That'd be a problem. But I don't... I don't know if that's the case. He could have genuinely left, but the idea that he would just conveniently decide to go back to his family out of nowhere, after refusing for decades, presum seeming, seemingly, like that... It seems like he was lying to me. At the very least. Oh, we get one more astrophysics lesson, or whatever. Astrophysics is the wrong thing to call it. Just need to get up here. Yeah! Platforming puzzles hit! Hit! Hey, May. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Got any more dusk stars we can look at? One more. Just one. One. Ah. Well, she doesn't complain anymore. She knows better, I guess. Found it. Let us consult the guide. The fire maker. The fire maker? A wanderer in the cold and dark. Making a fire and huddling up to it. For light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Huh. This star makes me want to cry. Crying? On my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No. It's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered... them all? Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and named them. Wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them. And we just, like, found what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars. Or name them. But we had these autumn afternoons and found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having really happened. Because hearing it happened to you. That is nice. It's not bad. No. Closure, kind of. Oh, they're actually really evenly distributed, too. Mental picture. Got your picture. So what now? Supermoon is coming. What's that? A giant moon. Ooh, that does sound super. You must come meet me when it happens. It will be late at night. There will be others on the roofs. You come, I will make hot chocolate. What a time. That sounds great. I want to see a supermoon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chazikov. See you soon, Stargazer. <laughs> We should find... Are we gonna find Casey's parents? And even try to tell them? How do you even tell them, honestly? Ah... Uh, snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. That's the end. Well, he warmed up to me enough to stop getting... Telling me to get off the porch, I suppose. Selmers! Hey, May. Sup, Selmers? You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing. Yeah, I'm alright. Headache, headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if you, I ever have a headache or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. No, that's not a poem. Oh, that's fine. I'll always remember your put your poem about young app develop developers becoming billionaires and destabilizing the American dream. You know that fun stuff. Ha <laughs> ha! Joyful. This game has some real dark things, and surprisingly, the darkest things aren't always the murder stuff, which was totally real. Oh no, the Casey poster. 
Can I take it away at all? It's not... It's not coming back, unfortunately. Here, Casey. I dedicate this ball of yarn to you. It's literally all I can do. How is that thing still there? It's been like a week at least. It's, it's, it's been raining, hasn't it? That ball of yarn is going to be so gross. Ugh. I'm sorry, Casey. At least the rats got to live, presumably. The miracle rats. That music's new, right? When winter come and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not flooded ruin. It's a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. I'll never leave you. <laughs> I suppose we're not gonna warm up. Nope, he won't even talk to me. Not even a little bit. Yep, no new context for the stuff too. Nope, that character paused forever. No, no redemption to be had there. It'd be ridiculous if everyone got happier with me at the same time. Hey! They found a good practice spot. I can't talk to them, though. Yeah, this makes way more sense than the abandoned stage. Hey, maybe they'll not take this whole place out now if there's musicians hanging out all the time and fishermen. Hey, you guys. Yeah? Stay safe, all right? Wow, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man, it goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. I wish those two playing the music would shut that up. Hey! Watch it. That's, that's the end of our interaction. It's like, you know what? Shut up. Music's good, dummy. There's no... No reconciling. This is good. Because, like, at the end of, like, an RPG, like, Dragon Age Inquisition, some, so, suddenly, at the end of the game, it's, like, time to have our farewell conversation with every single character. Did that guy just teleport? Oh, wait, he just does that all the time. Okay, that's fine. It, at, the, at the end of a game like that, everyone will be, like, having their big farewells, and they're so grateful to you, and it's a long journey, and you bonded, but... In this game, there's tons of people we've interacted with on a regular basis that don't give a shit about us. And shouldn't. And it'd be really weird if they suddenly were like, Oh my god, closure time! Because it's like just some some punk kids I warned a few times because, well, turns out kids and other people are being sacrificed to a, a hole in the ground. Oh boy. Oh. Jumping's dangerous. He'll look a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow. True enough, I suppose. Yeah, the, uh, I always want to jump to pass the time in this game, but it's actually dangerous if you want to avoid missing prompts. Is the- is the tent gone? It's not. Oh. Hey! Well, hey there, May. What are you doing? Oh, just cleaning up. How'd the council vote go? We lost. I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. We've got all this. Empty space. Could use it for so many things, but... He tried. All we can do. And God will show up. When the time is right. Bruce is my friend. Mine too. Bruce is my friend too. You need some help cleaning this, this place up? That'd be nice, May. There's a rake back in the shed behind the church. Oh! I can't do it now, but... <laughs> Run along, May. No, May, help. Help, May. Help, just help. I know you'd be weird that to make gameplay mechanics and stuff. Those teens here again? They are. At the end of the entire game. And I can't talk to them. Well, they suck anyway. <laughs> Let's just be honest about that much. They all suck, and we're leaving them forever. Goodbye, teens. You all suck. Forever. <laughs> oh. So many plot lines to resolve. So when I do my additional stuff, because I want I do want to cover the other events that can happen at night. <sighs> it's not gonna be the full experience. Because as far as I can tell, there's tons of dialogue during the day that can reflect all the little things that happen. 
but I think the vast majority of the game is going to be a repeat experience. So the idea is I'm going to give you like the, the highlights in a way instead of all of it because doing an entire second playthrough would take another whole month probably. It's not like the dialogue goes faster when you know it already as opposed to like a Dark Souls playthrough where you know the levels and bosses and can beat them easily. So I, I, I can't see myself dedicating an entire extra month to this game. But uh, I'll like, you know, pop in here and there and be like, oh, here's what happens if we hang out with uh, Greg Night 1 and B, Ni B Night 2 and Greg Night 3 and stuff like that. Or actually it would be Greg B B because I did B Greg Greg this time and stu stuff like that. I'll show that kind of stuff. And if you want to have the full experience of your own personal customized playthrough, then, uh, well, buy the game. <laughs> and you can have the full, incredibly customized experience of how every single decision you make comes back in various ways or, or doesn't, and stuff like that. Although I've been told I've done a relatively completionist playthrough. There's no one here. Here I was, standing still, thinking I don't want to run into the next encounter, and there's no one here. Uh... I've been told I've covered a lot of stuff in this playthrough, so at least this this one's been pretty comprehensive. Uh, for the sake of time, my my very very abridged second playthrough, where I just show you the handful of different things that happen at, at nights and stuff like that for different hangouts, uh, that'll be significantly shorter and disjointed. But we'll get to see what the night events are at the very least, even if they even if they lack some of the context. That's the plan, I think. And then we can move on to something else. Because this is, of course, the indie slash puzzle slot, which I insist on keeping open as much as I can. Uh, and, well, this is not a very mechanically driven game, and not very puzzle driven or anything like that, so... I'm uh, planning on finishing this up so I can swing far over to the opposite end and do like a very like puzzle-heavy game to make up for the total lack of puzzles in this game. That's my plan, anyway. And I've got a few on my list. Hey, you okay? Hey! I heard you were, like, in the hospital or something. <laughs> yeah. What for? Fell into a ravine while running through the woods at night. Why? Uh, chased by a death cult of conservative uncles. Alright, you don't have to tell me. So you're really okay? Yeah, just been a weird few days. Okay, I got weir worried. Oh, I'm super tough. Nothing's gonna get me anytime soon. Oh, good. That's good. I wonder if they'll ever figure out who messed up the dudes. The dudes? The mural in the tunnel. Oh, I did that. What? Why? I don't know. That's not a reason. Why do you care so much? It's the dudes! You don't mess with the dudes like that. They're like a part of this place. This entire place is royally messed up. And nobody cares. I wanted someone to notice things aren't okay. This town is like a horror movie that never stops. And it's not even a good one. Yeah, it might suck. But it's our horror movie. It's our horror movie. And that's kind of cool, right? Yeah, but... Yeah, I know. I have the same thing inside of me. The thing. The thing. I feel like no one cares. Everything just sucks forever. There's this thing coming for us. Happening to us. Yeah, but like... This isn't advice I'm good at taking, but... Sometimes things are big enough and bad enough they that they're unkillable. But, you know, life goes on. Yeah, that's not really comforting. <laughs> well, I'm still working out a better pep talk for myself, too. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, does your family do stuffs for the holidays? My dad's usually away on Thanksgiving, but he's home for longest night. You should come do Thanksgiving at my house. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. We have four chairs, and there's only three of us. That other chair usually just has junk on it. No, 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 I can't. Why not? Uh, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Hey, hey, okay, we can talk about it later. Uh, thank... 
You... You okay? Can I... Do anything? It's... No, it's... <gasps> cool, I just need to... <gasps> sit here and be... <gasps> quiet for a while. Okay, I'll leave you alone then. See you tomorrow, probably. May? Yep. Thanks for... <gasps> Hanging out with me. No problem, kid. Try not to be like. Try not to like burn something down in the meantime. <laughs> See ya. So they have like anxiety problems, right? Just like me. That's why they bonded. I can't get up there. I have to do it right. One, two, three. There we go. Just get up here for no reason. Aha! Cat. You must be defeated. There's nothing I can do here. And he can oh. Oh. I feel like I'd rank this as a bad idea. Can you get struck by lightning in this game? <laughs> oh. Won't be able to climb this soon. Once it gets icy. Enjoy it while the weather lasts, May. There's so many little pieces of di dialogue hidden everywhere in the most obscure places you wouldn't expect to check. It's weird. It's awesome, but weird. We gotta check in on the, uh, the Miracle Rats one last time. Just like everything else. So that- so that they- they acknowledge the fact that they bond specifically because they have the same darkness in them, the same... The thing that, uh, May describes as the shapes. And, like, they- feel detached, they see- they feel like they see something wrong that no one else can see in a way. And that they feel like they need to warn people, almost. What's gonna happen to all this? I guess it's just gonna sit here. Till someone gets around to throwing it out? I should, like, steal the good stuff. See what mom and dad think. I'm sure they'll love it. Redecorate the living room. Let me through this door, damn it! I can see it. I can't tell if the game wants me to see it or not, but I can definitely see it. Don't all be dead, please? Nope, same dialogue as before. So no major update here. Yeah. You just come by a few times. Was it, was it three times? I feel like it was probably three times. Rule of threes and all that. That would make sense more or less if you had to steal the food three times. At the time, I was worried that it had to be every day. Oh, wow. Yeah, the rats are just everywhere out here. What have I done? <laughs> I am a monster. And I am remorseless. Remorseless. Oh, down we go. Oh, it's the janitor. Hey, it's you. Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix-its, whatever needs done. Oh. Okay. So what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember them? Kinda. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. Also, I was at the hospital. <laughs> so I swear some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen. And I feel like I should have woken up today. And like, have learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well, in my experience, big things don't teach you anything. But they make you something. And sometimes you gotta wait a while to see what come of it. Huh. Well, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, he's out. Bye forever, janitor. Wait, how do you know my name? Janitor, Mr. Janitor, Lord Janitor, Bob Janitor, thought I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. Oh, she thinks that she would like being a janitor. 
That's a curiosity. Oh, you're right, the pickaxe isn't opening. None of the places are gonna be open today if they're characters like that. That makes sense. So it's actually gonna be like a quicker day, just in general, I think. Nothing else here to check out? No, that's it. Back we go to the other screen. I'm still curious about that character because he seems mysterious. Maybe he knows my name because he was at the hospital, because she didn't seem aware of that. Or maybe, like, the fact that he resembles various statues, like, maybe that's something to worry about. Do you open up? Oh, you do open up. Is Angus working? I guess he's got to work, right? No. <laughs> There's just no one here. All right, then. Still didn't, uh... Oh, holy crap! Uh... Ah! A taco place! This is the best thing that happened to this town sp since... Since he got rid of all those snakes in the diner! The owners were religious, and they called in a preacher from one of the holiness camps at the hills. And he got in there and yelled at the snakes to leave. And the next day after, he died, and they just set traps. <laughs> Nobody knows where they came from, <laughs> or why they moved in. But they're long gone now. God. Life moves on, huh? Taco Buck. Oh my god, they deliver. I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. Shit tacos. Oh, that guy's working. Oh, who works the taco buck? Now hiring taco artisans. <laughs> Delivery drivers, all shifts, $8 an hour. Oh, May, this is your dream job, work there. So you're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan, but I guess that means holding the sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There was snow in the sky, falling. How are the tacos here? Good, I like tacos. There is not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news, my ex hates tacos. Good news, they're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with your tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco buck. Dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all this general region, pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try the all out, the all lettuce taco. No, I refuse. Get out of here, kid. I'm working. <laughs> I love the active response, though. Try the old meat taco. Try the old vegetable. Ta Sorry, oh, the old lettuce taco. And he's like, No, never. I will never sully myself with such a thing. Oh, lonely. Who are you? Haven't you seen me around? Nah. Well, I've noticed you. That's not weird or anything. Bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's gotta stand here. Hey, you Smeldris fan? Uh... Yeah? Oh, really? Huh, uh, yeah! Go Smelters? Go Smelters! Go Smelters. Aww. One tiny bit of closure for poor lonely guy. That's not a neck brace, is it? I can't tell. <laughs> I genuinely can't tell. It could be like one of those really thick furry collars that bent, that like is just folded down and it's just really thick. But it looks like a neck brace because it's so tall. Like it's just excessive. Hey, look, there's a star here. For longest night. Is longest night a Christmas thing? Is that the point of it? I actually don't know. I genuinely don't know. I'm just now getting a lot around to try and think about that, I guess. I mean, we had Harfest, which I would assume is like Halloween. Ah, crap. I keep thinking that's gonna be a platform, and it's not. I don't know, maybe the... Maybe Halloween... There's only supposed to be like one day at a time, right? So I guess it, would, it wouldn't make sense for it to be Christmas unless some great span of time passed that's greater than I think it is. Let's see. One, two, three. Why am I doing this to myself? I'm pretty sure I can just jump across that without any special jump, and I'm trying to do a special jump for like no reason, aren't I? 
That's probably the case. I actually don't know anything about Longest Night, but we never talked about Halloween very much either. We just called it Harfest. Might have to look this up, considering I'm near the end of my playthrough now and I've not been questioning this. It's fine. Holiday time happening. That's all that really matters. Uh, uh, uh. I can't jump that high in the first place. Why have I come here? Well, so it goes. A-OK -okay, drugs and malt. Still kind of concerned about the part where it's A-OK -okay, drugs, but sure. Hip. That was a waste of time. There's never anything up there, and I always check anyway. We'll avoid the snack falcon, because I think that's where this ends. Let's see if we can find one last inst- Wow, the rats are just everywhere. Did I do that? Let's see if we can find one last instance of germ, because he deserves to be seen one last time. But I think germ might be there with everybody else. What? What? Whoa. My babies! My little rat babies! Well, not so little anymore. You've made it! You've broken free! It's a miracle! I'm just gonna enjoy this moment for a bit. Don't mind me. There's just rats everywhere now. I'm just hanging out with my rats. This is so scripted, I'm mildly terrified that I may have, like, en en entered into some sort of, like, end game thing that ends the game. That would suck. But it's not that? Okay, cool. Yeah. They had a whole interior for that place. Can I check it out, or is it the same segment again? I haven't been able to open this before, have I? Oh, it's on my head. That's terrifying. <laughs> okay, so now you can't explore inside there. So the rats that I helped out are now infesting the old food donkey. Or whatever. Is that what it's called? I think that's what the name was. Anyone here? Nope. No last hangouts. No no encounters with mall cop or strange drifters. There's a lot of drifters in town, huh? Like there's a I guess that's I guess that's what they find all their murder victims, because you find so many people just roaming around. This has been a trip. All right, Snack Falcon, I think this is it. Hey there, just double checking. Nope. Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like relevant. Well, look who's alive and well, you too. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get out of here? Do band practice? Yeah. Birthday zone. Look at that back thing. I never really read that before because it's faded. Jeez, that door never gets any less stuck. Holy crap, is that a pentagram sticker? Yeah, it's a corpse driver sticker. Wonder what four pentagrams mean. What? Nothing. Nobody here yet. Bunch of slackers. It's like they don't even want this band to succeed. <laughs> Where would we even play if we wanted to? Huh. I have no idea. Go play those F VFW Hall shows in Fort Lucene. Oh wow, those were fun. We beat the oldsters now. Yep. So, uh, you okay? Not really. I mean, are any of us? I don't know. Angus slept pretty soundly last night. Huh, suspicious. Do you think those guys can get out of the mine? I guess we're gonna find out pretty quick. Did you notice anyone missing today? I don't know. But I don't think a lot of those guys were people I knew. Never can tell. God, now I'm paranoid thinking like, who did I, who's missing? The poetry people were out and about, the church people were out and about, my parents were there. 
Auntie Mall Cop was not around, but that's that's pretty normal, honestly. Huh. Whoa. Scary thought. What was the timing for that? It's the smelters guys. There was a part where the other smelter guy was like, Oh, time for us to get up and leave. My family. And then that guy, that one guy that was getting killed was like, My family! And, uh, like, what if that was the same guy? It's, it's hard to tell. We have no way of telling who's who. Like, there's so little to go on, but it's scary. But, uh, we don't interact with a lot of old people, is the issue. Never can tell? This kind of thing happened to you often? Oh, all the time. So, like, I don't really get what ha even happened down there with you and the whatever that was. The murder cult of dads? Sure. I kind of get them. Really? No. Yes. I don't know. It's like a porch light that's on, and there are all these bugs around it, and then the light goes out, and then there's a hole where the light was, and it's like, what happened to, to me way back? Like, I was telling you about the, 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 on the couch last night. God, that was last night? Seems like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. What a weird fall it's been. Yeah, I mean, even aside from last night, weird, weirdest couple of weeks of my life. Oh, I also gave us a rat infestation in town. What? Eh, it's like one of it's like the one good thing that's happened. Hope springs, rats multiply. Very poetical, dude. I'm extremely poetical. They killed Casey. Yeah, they did. They killed Casey. I'm trying not to think about it. Do we, like, tell his parents? What do we tell them? I don't know. Is it worse to let them think he's alive? Or tell them he's in a bottomless hole? In a tunnel? In the woods? With a bunch of guys who are going to be dead soon? Ah. On one hand, I want to give them closure, but on the other hand, I feel like it, acting like we know what happened to Casey could get us into some serious trouble. Uh, not that she's much of a one for consequences anyway. We should tell them. Okay. You get to figure out what we say. I'll tell you... I'll let you know if I ever come up with anything. Sounds good. I think it's important we know that we know at least. Makes it mean something? I don't know how to say it. I think we might be the only things in the universe who care about anything. Or who we even can care. Do you think any of this means anything? Or like, meant anything? Huh. Does it, Gregory? Hey, babies. Hey, hon. Babies? How's work? Jeez, I'm sore from, like, everything. I ran into, like, a zillion bushes the other night. Basically, my body hates me right now. Gotta do stre stretches. So, like, can I move to Bright Harbor with you guys? Uh, um, I thought you, like, couldn't leave home. Eh, you guys are home enough. Or maybe I'll just visit for a while once you get settled in. Of course. Yeah, dude, that'd be rad. Hey, guys? Yeah? Thanks for saving me last night, like, repeatedly. Not even a problem, dude. We'll save you as many times as it takes. Hey, B. Hey, B. Are you gonna say something? I don't really know what to say. What in the hell even happened last night? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, good. So I was just having the worst, weirdest nightmare ever. By the way, nice messages to wake up to. Oh, God, I was half asleep. Let's not talk about it. 
I think I twisted my ankle last night. Can we just, like, not talk about last night for the rest of the day? Uh, no promises. Can't we just play a song and get pizza and talk about this tomorrow? Sure. Whatever. We can all talk about it in therapy for years. That's the spirit. I mean, we have to go on, right? Obviously the world is seriously screwed up, but we're all gonna die if we don't keep living. That's some bumper sticker shit right there. Hey, I know what I'm talking about. We gotta make plans. We gotta change things. We gotta play a goddamn song, get a goddamn pizza. Okay, so, what are we playing? <laughs> hey! It's over. I kinda thought that pause was them being like, I don't have a song to play, oh god. <laughs> so that was, a, that was Night in the Woods. That is a neat video game, I would say. Um, yeah. Generally happy with the way it's written and the way it's paced and everything about it. It was just a really enjoyable, chill-out experience with likable characters that go through something. Uh, very much feels like life is strange in a weird way. Because Life is Strange also starts off with, like, a... Being a weird, like, almost tame slice of life, like, everyone chill out thing with a vague hint of something dark going on in the background, but then gets way darker and way more supernatural as things go on, just like how this one kind of did. Although you can't really tell if this game was supernatural at all. Because the there's, two, there's two major supernatural elements in this game. One was every single time that the game, uh... One of them was every single time that the game, uh, like, had night dream sequences, but those could have just been dreams. The other one was, of course, the hole, but even that was, like, it's hard to say if that meant anything or if it was just crazy people that were clinging on to any sort of hope they could find. Hey, Clay's in there. I didn't know Clay f supported this. Clay Entertainment's the people that make uh, Invisible Ink and Don't Starve and stuff. I knew it was a, ki I knew it was a Kickstarter thing, too. Short credits for a small cast. <laughs> but yeah, very cool game. If, if you want to have your own custom playthrough and your own personal experience, I'd recommend checking it out still. Rami Ismail? Is that the guy that made Mr. Robot? Am I thinking of the right person? But yeah, I, I went ahead and just slipped those, uh... I went ahead and just slipped... I, I'm thinking of, like, Rami Malak, and it, it's, I'm, I'm thinking of m multiple wrong names. Never mind. Uh... But, uh, I want to just slip those two side things, Tim Schafer, uh, into the middle, because there was two free expansions that came out before the game, and I figured I would just slip those in, in the middle of the playthrough, as, as opposed to the back, the end, because it kind of fits into little textures of how the whole thing works. What's happening? Oh, alternate credits song, but for more credits. Okay. But anyway... Uh, if I remember, I'll hopefully put up slide stuff at the end of this video for you guys to click on in the new end cards that work in, on on, a, on YouTube now. Uh, if you want to see similar games to this one, uh, check out Life is Strange, Oxen Free, and uh, Firewatch. I, or specifically, I mean, we'll check out those games in general, but also I've done playthroughs of all three of those as part of the reason why I'm pointing them out. Uh, Sharkle. Hi. Oh, We have to say bye now? Oh hey, back to the entire notebook. That's neat. Let's just go to the very beginning and page through it. R.I.P. Granddad. Oh yeah, the, the vague shipwreck we, we got stuck on when we first got here. And then I answered those teens incorrectly about the shipwreck because I forgot about that. Your parents forgot you! We've been through a lot. There's the mom event. Did I miss a hangout with dad or something? Is that the suggestion here? Maybe I didn't watch TV with him enough or something? I wonder. Because mom got that, and dad got nothing. Big skeleton. Let's see. Aunt Mall Cop is planning to kill me. Never saw her again after a while. Kind of wonder if she was one of the people. We, we won't ever know, I guess, who may be the people that, uh... 
don't show up the, uh, days later because we the game just ends. There's Greg and B. The songs we played. Look at that. I did good on those two songs. The happy little May playing a song. Didn't do so great the other one. The arm of the tattoo. Did, did the tattoo ever come up again? Why did they even have a decap? Why were they cutting arms off in the first place if they're throwing people into a pit? I'm curious about what the hell's going on there, too. Gregory's Pizza Scale. Basically, all... Every single food ever. All pizza's good, but fancy pizza's too fancy. And and, and you shouldn't eat pizza that literally can't be food. Uh, can't be... Can, that can't be food. But uh, if it's edible and not too fancy, then it's good as hell, no matter what. Period. The end. Because pizza rules. And I think I agree with this entire scale. Angus, why are you so far late? I, I'd say Angus and Germ, I guess it makes sense. They share, they share a spread. What? Oh, talking about, right, we got electrocuted. F the cops. Right, the dr the drunken night. Oh yeah, with the X, and we just never, we never, we never saw our X again. That was, that was interesting. That, it seemed like we were introducing a major character when that happened, and then we never saw them ever again. It's Selmers, who writes awesome poems. We got a tooth. The Miracle Rats. You can see a lot of blanks everywhere that suggest there's more stuff I can do. I wonder, I... I would like to assume that a lot of it's the branching story, so if you play it a second time through, maybe you fill in the same blanks, but it keeps all the stuff you already had, and maybe those combine into one continuous thing. That'd be cool. Maybe you can eventually complete the entire diary. Maybe that's even the, uh, the maybe the... Complete journal is the, like, the hardest trophy on PlayStation 4 or something. There was our, our initial thing when we, when we were bandit queens. We stole a lanyard from Hot Topic and then put, then gave up and put it back. <laughs> our electrocution. A lot of the sky things. Right, we were crushing the figures. Lori M. Horror movies and anxiety. Aw. Fell in a hole with germ. Got a lot. We had a lot going on. We shot the forest god. We were knife legends. We were sh stabbing each other with knives. That was such an alarming thing for us to do for fun. <laughs> three weird teens. Those guys suck. Screw those guys. Oh, hey, there's three stars. Interesting. I'm pretty sure the last time I looked, there was two stars. I think a third star may have come up the third time I found them. And maybe you had to find them three times to get three stars. One of which was kind of mandatory, or at least it happened when I went with, uh... When I went with, uh, B to the graveyard. Janitor page. Eventually got the smashing bulbs thing. There's Halloween. And then the bad news. Just a weird mining helmet figure. And a hole. There it is. <laughs> just dead. Reference to the time when I just couldn't play the song, because the third song's hard. <laughs> it's really hard. Angus is psychic, but his hat blocks it. I'd have to agree. That was a really good night with Angus. That dialogue was really... That was some very major development to make up for the fact that he's kind of the more background character of the... of the group. Skull hole. Little Joe's dang skull. We dug up a corpse. Okay. Okay, I never saw those ones before. Very simplistic, crappy sketch drawings, like she almost like she was unconscious when she drew them or something. And then her in a hole. That's a bad time, and that's worth- that's the last page. Oh no. That's not a happy note at all. Da 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 da! What were those games I recommended? It was, uh, Life is Strange. Firewatch, Oxen Free. Yeah, those are all very comparable games to this one. They all have branching narratives and dialogue choices and very, very deliberate art styles. Uh, Firewatch and uh, Life is Strange kind of have this game's co uh, color scheme, whereas uh, Oxen Free has this game's like 2D palette. All of them are kind of naturalistic dialogue between a bunch of characters being all kind of sassy and so on. If you, if you like this game's writing, you'd probably like those games writing at the very least. Uh, if you didn't like this game's writing, then you, you were one of the people that would not like reading, uh, hearing the dialogue of those games either, and that's, that's fair enough. Uh, and yeah, all of them have a vague hint of like, oh yeah, just a casual thing, talking, having a fun time, look at this beautiful stuff. Wait. 
Wait, is something wrong? Maybe something supernatural or sinister? And uh, the extent to which something is wrong is very variable from game to game. Definitely recommend checking out all three of those playthroughs or all three of those games or both if you like this one because th I think they're all good companion games for this experience. So uh, feel free to click on those all over the screen if they show up or uh, check them out on Steam. They're all on Steam. I think they might all be on PlayStation 4 or at least two of them. A lot of them. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching like always. This has been our latest indie puzzle game on the... Uh, in that indie puzzle slot. I'll do a few addendum episodes for the other nights that I missed, and then it'll just kind of fade away, and we'll start our next puzzle game. Thanks for watching, like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.